Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, about uh, 24 hours after we started running Derek's boot and nuke, the system is fully wiped, or was, written over the hard drive seven times, and uh, so essentially making it impossible for someone to recover data. Not completely impossible, but largely impossible. And uh, after that, I basically popped in this disk into the CD tray, rebooted the machine, and uh, suddenly I was running Ubuntu without actually installing anything to the hard drive. I was running it directly off the CD. It's a live CD. And Ubuntu, of course, is a, a distribution of Linux based on Debian uh, that uh, has kind of skyrocketed in popularity for a lot of reasons. I think the, the biggest reason is that A, it's simple to use, B, it's beautiful, and C, it's got just about every app that someone might want. Uh, internet applications like a web browser, or of course, email, uh, even a, a tel telephony, uh, tel telephony, telephony, uh, voice over IP, a soft phone. Uh, you know, it's got the, the, any kind of basic app that you would expect would come with an operating system, like a calculator, for instance. Ooh, a calculator. Uh, your Office applications, not Microsoft Office, but Open Office. Remember, open source is key. Uh, and uh, what I've got is uh, the operating system installed in the hard drive with all the latest updates, including uh, desktop effects. Now, this isn't full-on Compiz Fusion, at least to my uh, understanding. Um, but it does have all the neat little effects bu built in. I had to download and install um, a, a specific video driver for this card, an NVIDIA card, uh, to get it running, which isn't completely supported, or if at all supported, uh, by uh, Ubuntu. Uh, but with this, I can enable these wobbly windows. Uh, I can launch Firefox since I'm connected to the Internet. I've got remote sharing or desktop sharing enabled. That's basically VNC that allows me to uh, control this computer on the network. Now let's say I've got that window there and I've got this window here. I want to move this window to another desktop. I can nudge it over, let's say to the right side, and as I nudge it, it flips desktops. You see how that works? If I can, I can bring it back to the desktop. So think of the, I've got four virtual desktops right now, kind of configured in a cube. You see how I flip back and forth between all of them? I can flip easily by clicking in the, the tray down below, switching between the open windows. In fact, if I go and use the, I can go, here we go, try to get the, there's the zoom, so that's another little neat little desktop effect. If I control alt and left click, it'll kind of give you a better visualization of the virtual desktop space that I've got including the windows wrapped in between desktops there. So it's 3D accelerated, uh, beautiful, uh, I would say, at least out of the box. It's using the GNOME desktop environment, uh, which I, it, it's grown on me, certainly. Uh, menus kind of pop out. I mean, again, that's it's using the desktop effects. Plenty of games to play with, sound and video. Um, you know, as I said, internet, graphics, it's got everything that you might need. It's easy to install updates. In fact, it'll tell you when there are updates available. And uh, the thing I like about Ubuntu is that, yes, it is Linux. But it, for the most part, eliminates any kind of geekery. Uh, it takes any kind of idea of having to uh, really get down and dirty with the code and just eliminates that. And, and then really, that's what a lot of people want. Uh, they want the power of a stable operating system uh, without necessary, and not to say that Linux is perfectly stable, but uh, you know it is taking advantage of this particular platform, 64-bit uh, platform, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's an FX60, I believe, AMD. Uh, it's no slouch, that's for sure. Uh, and this is the one that we're going to be giving away for the 10,000th YouTube subscriber, or at least one of them. Now, I can't say the 10,000th. But uh, when we reach the number 10,000 for YouTube subscribers, this system will be given away, uh, including um, uh, Ubuntu. I'll have Ubuntu on there, so I won't have to worry about software licensing or anything. Uh, it will have a full-baked operating system. Look at that, with all the eye candy. Isn't that cool? I don't know. I, can, I know it's, it's not very, uh, some people say it's not very useful, but I, I don't know. I think uh, 
when you start using it after a while, uh, that eye candy suddenly becomes functional. I'm like, uh, I want to get rid of that window, but I still want it open, so I'm going to put it on that desktop, and then I'm going to switch back to another desktop, and you can use keyboard shortcuts and whatnot. It is configurable. Uh, it's fun. I mean, Linux can be fun, and in my opinion, Ubuntu is a, a pretty good start. And as I said, you don't need to install it to the hard drive to try it. You can download the CD, or ISO, burn it to a CD, and uh, then load that into your uh, computer, CD drive, reboot, boot from the CD. It'll never touch your hard drive if you don't want it to, and you can try Linux. You say, well, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is, is that I could give this to anybody, and they would have everything they could possibly need to get up and running. Internet, graphics, I mean, they've got it all. So uh, Ubuntu is nice and easy. Took me 10 minutes to install to the hard drive. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just curious. How many people out there are using Ubuntu now or considering using Ubuntu? Any Ubuntu tips and tricks you might have for the community at large? Uh, do you think Ubuntu's got a shot uh, as far as the desktop's concerned? Have you converted any of your family to using Ubuntu over Windows or OS X? I'd be curious to know. Uh, and, of course, you're welcome to swing by the chat room anytime, day or night. We're there 24 hours a day talking. Well, everyone else is. Sometimes I'm... I kind of get in the zone if I'm working on something. Uh, but everyone's friendly, or at least we try to be. And you can find us anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, at one URL. And that is live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. Actually, we'll eat it after I stop the recording. But I've, I've got to stop the recording first. My, my, my computer fell asleep. Which I should actually be doing too, considering it's 2.30 in the morning. And apparently I have nothing better to do than to show people Ubuntu. <laughs> uh, pay no attention to the man behind the monitor. <laughs> okay, anytime I can stop recording now.